Don't look up, Netflix's latest mega blockbuster is jam-packed with stars, but also with product placement. Concave Brand Tracking recorded nearly 100 different brands in the Adam McKay hit, and with the film having been seen by over 160 million viewers at the time of making this video, Don't Look Up has generated close to $200 million in product placement advertising value for the brands it featured. That's more than brand-heavy films like Fast and Furious 9, Free Guy, or Space Jam generated in their theatrical runs. All fellow Netflix hits like Red Notice, Love Hard, or He's All That in their first 28 days. The products in Don't Look Up varied from air fresheners and glasses to liquor and stoves. But which brands were the biggest winners in the film? To answer this, Concave Brand Tracking combed through the movie, recording every brand that appeared, how long it was on screen, and how visibly. Using this data, we've ranked the top 10 most visible brands in Don't Look Up by product placement advertising value received. Chevrolet got over a minute and a half of screen time, with most of this coming in the form of a 2016 Malibu driven by Leonardo DiCaprio near the end of the film. Chevrolet is one of the most common brands in films, having been the fourth most visible in 2020 thanks to appearances in movies like Spencer Confidential, Sonic the Hedgehog, and The Five Bloods. But it's also having a great 2021. Beyond Don't Look Up, Chevrolet has starred in Fast and Furious 9, The Unforgivable, and The Little Things. Ford got nearly two minutes of screen time in Don't Look Up. Its most notable appearance was as the police cars used to arrest the main characters when they pissed off the government. Ford can also be seen in such 2021 movies as Fast and Furious 9, Yes Day, and Venom 2, Let There Be Carnage. Samsung got over a minute of screen time in Don't Look Up, with much of this coming in the form of close-ups on its TVs, a very high level of visibility for any brand. In 2020, Samsung was the market leader in terms of product placement of televisions, ahead of Sony and LG. Samsung TVs have appeared in an array of 2021 movies, such as Red Notice, the Suicide Squad, and The Tomorrow War. Toyota was the most visible of the 15 car brands to appear in Don't Look Up. It achieved this with over two minutes of screen time throughout the movie. Toyota was the fifth most visible brand in 2020 movies, thanks to highly successful placements in Extraction, Sonic the Hedgehog, and Greenland, as well as 26 other of the top 50 movies. Michigan State University is the institution that Leonardo DiCaprio and Jennifer Lawrence's characters work at. The school is mentioned five times in the dialogue. Uh, Michigan State professor. And Turn a bunch of Michigan State students. Ah, <sighs> Michigan State Spartans. And Dr. Mindy is a tenured professor of astronomy at Michigan State. I'm oh, sorry, did you say it? Did you say Michigan State? Anne appeared in the form of a mug used by Leo and a hoodie worn by Jennifer Lawrence. The fifth most visible brand in Don't Look Up was Leitner, the manufacturer of the headsets worn by most of the main characters during the two space operations. Although its logo was never visible, the brand got over four minutes of screen time. TCL was the most visible of the eight brands of TV in Don't Look Up. Although it got a little less screen time than Samsung, all of its exposure came in the form of close-ups and its logo was visible for all but one second of its screen time. Although not a common product placement brand, over the years TCL has appeared in a handful of blockbusters such as The Old Guard, Mission Impossible Rogue Nation, and Transformers Dark of the Moon. While we were unable to determine the brands of the glasses worn by Leonardo DiCaprio, one pair of eyewear that we did identify were Meryl Streep's. They were a pair of A02003 Alan Mickley glasses in red, pink, grey. The brand got around eight and a half minutes of screen time and millions of dollars in value from this. If you're interested in eyewear in films and TV more generally, we highly recommend you check out our friends at sunglassesid.com. We'll put a link in the description. Dell was the second most visible brand in Don't Look Up, thanks to its laptops and monitors getting a combined total of 14 minutes of screen time. In particular, it benefited from the control room scenes in which dozens of Dell monitors could be seen in a single shot. Dell is having a great 2021 and looking like a frontrunner for the most visible brand of the year. It has had standout appearances in Red Notice, No Time to Die, The Guilty, Free Guy, Fast and Furious 9, and Space Jam 2. Dell was among the most visible brands in all those films while also appearing in over a dozen more.
And at number one, we find a relatively unknown brand compared to the rest of this list, Panther Vision. They are a small Illinois-based company that manufacture LED-equipped hats and other practical lighting products. They appeared in Don't Look Up in the form of a power cap hat worn by Timothy Chalamet in almost all his appearances. This equated to almost five minutes of screen time with the power cap logo being visible in 83%. Having a logo visible hugely increases a brand's value as it makes it much easier for potential customers to identify it and then find it. Other brands that appeared in Don't Look Up included Richard Mile, although that watch was a replica, not the real thing, Tom Ford, Xanax. It says Xanax. I'm just gonna take some Xanax. Maybe I should have given her that extra, real, extra Xanax that I had. A spoon <laughs> full of Xanax makes the medicine go down, That's right. right. <laughs> Westinghouse, Lincoln, one with Life Tequila, A to Z Wine, Audio Technica, Science News, and Pressed Juicery. Don't Look Up also featured a number of fake brands like Bash, Drinkmo, PBN Kids, and MeTube. Thanks for watching our video. If you found this interesting, please subscribe to Concave Brand Tracking's channel for more content about product placement in film and TV. And you can also follow us on LinkedIn, Twitter, and Pinterest. Oh, my God.